I have with me today the Thrustmaster Hotez One. It is a joystick designed for the Xbox One, Xbox Series S, and Xbox Series X. It also works for Microsoft Windows. So, why I bought this is to play flying games, and you just connect it through USB. And this is just a plain joystick version. They do have a pedal version, if you can see right here, for the rudder pedals. If not, you're going to be controlling the rudder with this. And that's pretty much it for the box. It does, on Xbox, it does work with Ace Combat 6, Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and the original Tom Clancy's Hawks game. It does not work with Project Wingman. So we're gonna unbox it right now, so let's go. All right, we're unboxing it now. So first things first, this flap. It's kind of stiff. Okay, now we're gonna lift it up. There's gonna be a thing of styrofoam. Here's your manual. It doesn't show you anything on how to assemble it or anything, so just ignore that. I already opened it. That's why you don't see wrappings. Let's get this out of the way. You got your styrofoam sheets. If you need to repack it, which I needed to, that's what it would look like. The joystick would be on the bottom and the throttles on the top. This is gonna be a fast unboxing. You got your cable. I'm gonna try to connect them both, but in a separate video, not for this video. You got your USB cable that will connect to the front of your Xbox. Here's the joystick portion. This glows white when you have it on. This does not glow. You got your hat switch button there. There's a button up here too. And back, pause button, I think, back button. And you got your trigger right here. And the default yaw setting in Microsoft Flight Simulator would be to twist left, twist right. But I swapped it out for the rudder. And you pull up, pull down, you get the idea. This guard thing right here, you just rest your hand and it's easy to use. That's all for the joystick part. Onto the throttle. You got, obviously, your color buttons. You got your rudder pedals, yaw right, yaw left, which is steering in airplane terms. That button and that button. And that's pretty much it. You got your throttle levels, so you'll go up. It clicks and stays stuck at the center, and then you just move it up and down and stuff like that. One thing I forgot to mention, I don't know what that cable's for, but you pick between PC or Xbox, and that's it. I'm gonna show you more or less what it looks like connected. Something like this, but I'm gonna screw it in on the bottom because yeah these two yeah they connected but we're gonna have to unscrew them with an allen wrench or something like that one of those hexagon wrench things if you got a screwdriver kit that can work too you just unscrew these two and then put it back together and stuff and this right here is for your cable management so you can just wind your cables up that way they're not all over the place and i'm gonna measure it now in both the u.s system and the metric system it's 13 inches wide, or about 33 centimeters wide. It's 9 inches long, or about 23 centimeters. It's about 10 inches tall, or 26 centimeters. Alright, you remember this guy from earlier? Well, we're going to connect it to the Xbox Series X. So. I always mess this up. You connect it to the front of your Xbox. All right. So what's cool about here is that this little thing right here 
called the hat switch is basically your d-pad so when you go like that it's left that right up down you get the idea and then you're gonna have to hit that green button right here to select your stuff and if you can see right here the light above the xbox button is glowing that lets you know it's connected and it's on well that is the Thrustmaster Hodes 1 for the Xbox. Enjoy your flying. Thank you for watching.